Yo vos yo. Hope you are all doing well during this tough period. And thank you all for joining this online session. It's a pleasure to be able to share and talk with you about the private cloud services. The title of the presentation I'll be going over today is a private cloud services recipe. This presentation includes three main sections. The first will talk about the private cloud services generics. The second will discuss Kubernetes services and solutions. And the third will go over the video platform use case, leveraging many of the private cloud and Kubernetes services. Before diving into the presentation, who am I? I'm the lead product manager for the eBay private cloud storage and media services with over 20 years of experience in software architecture and technical product management. I'm specialized in large distributed workloads running on the cloud. I also led previously many business critical initiatives for various large and small companies and across many industries. Across my career, I published also many IT blogs and presented in many cloud technologies related events, including one of the OpenStack Summit and the Software Development Storage event. For more information, please feel free I mean, to connect to my profile uh, at LinkedIn. My username is G. Buzaid. eBay, who we are. eBay Inc. is a global commerce leader that connects millions of buyers and sellers around the world. We exist to enable economic opportunities for individual entrepreneurs, businesses, and organizations of all sizes. Our portfolio and brand includes eBay Marketplace and eBay Classified Group, operating in 190 markets around the world, sharing in this table also our last quarter 2020 Q1 results. 21.3 billion of total GMV, 2.4 billion of revenue, and over 2% of active buyer growth. First section, private cloud services. I'm assuming that you know already the main difference between public, private, and hybrid cloud. Thus, I will not cover them during this presentation. Private cloud, what is the definition? The definition I'll be referring to here was provided by Gardner. The private cloud is a form of cloud computing that is used by only one organization, and that ensures that organization is completely isolated from others. The private cloud can be architected to meet that organization's specific needs. What are the benefits? The main benefits organization can obtain from running in a private cloud environment are strong security, regularity, compliance, flexibility, guaranteed resource availability, and cost savings. Please note that those benefits are particularly valuable for businesses with predictable workloads and customized customization requirements and businesses in regulated industries. What are the private cloud types? I have seen and experienced three types, software, be integrated and managed. Software, the definition, a private cloud software platform installed on customer hardware, OpenStack is an example. Pre-integrated, definition, a system bundle that is sold as a combination of hardware and software. This is a fast track solution to private cloud per Forrester. This solution is installed on customer premises. Managed, the definition, is a combined hardware and software bundles installed on customer premises. In this model, the vendor provides support, maintenance, upgrade, and even remote management of the private cloud. Private cloud building blocks, what are they? I'm pretty sure you know all of them already. They are IIS for infrastructure as a service, PaaS for platform as a service and SaaS for software as a service. I would like to talk briefly about their main characteristic. IAS, I would like to call it the foundation block. The main characteristics are dynamic scaling, resource and infrastructure are distributed as a service and optimized utilization of the hardware. For example, multiple users utilize the NAS. Pass, the main characteristics are enabling development, testing, deployment, and maintenance of the application. The platform can be accessed and utilized by multiple users, integration with the web services and databases through regular standard. SaaS, the main characteristics are software delivered in one-to-many model, software management is done from a centralized location, 
users are not required to handle software upgrades and patches, and application programming interfaces, APIs, enable integration with other applications. As IIS is the foundation block of the private cloud, I will drill down further on it. What are the main bricks of IIS? Compute, network, and storage. Compute, it's an instance where an application runs on in the cloud environment. It can be physical, a virtual machine, or the playable unit of computing. Network, a form of software-defined networking enabling networking hardware or units to be managed programmatically. Networking and the cloud is mainly on layer three, though in the private cloud space, I have seen solutions on layer two as well. Storage. Three primary storage are available for the cloud. Block storage, shared storage, and object storage. Both block and shared storage, as you may call it file storage, are common in traditional data centers, though they struggle mainly with scalability. Thus, object storage became the most common mode of storage in the cloud, given it's highly scalable, distributed, can run on commodity hardware, and can be cost-effective. Going over an overview of the private cloud services at eBay, I can mention that the private cloud infrastructure at eBay is massive. What are we talking about here? Sharing some examples and information from end of last year. The number of bare metal instances is over 80,000. The number of virtual v machines is over 300,000. And the total amount of storage is over 100 petabytes. How this is achieved? Few principles and strategy we follow. Ensuring high availability and disaster recovery, emphasizing on security, scalability, resiliency, and performance, designing, providing our own servers, Building point of presence for faster and more consistent user experience. Leveraging OVN at scale as the as the end provider. Open virtual network, allowing L2 and L3 virtual network. Slide number 10, section two. What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is an open source orchestration software for deploying, managing, and scaling containers. Kubernetes is becoming highly important as modern applications are increasingly built using containers, which are market services packaged with their dependencies and configuration. What are the main benefits of Kubernetes? Resource utilization and efficiency. Through the Kubernetes scheduler, the number of CPU and amount of memory can be set for each container. High scalability. Kubernetes operates at the individual server level to implement horizontal scale. New servers can be added or removed easily. It enables both auto-scaling and manual scaling. High availability. Kubernetes is designed to address the availability of both application and infrastructure. Kubernetes guards your containerized application through health checks and self-healing. Also, it provides load balancing and traffic routing of requests to the appropriate containers. Orchestration of software deployment. Kubernetes is designed for deployment and offer useful features. Automated rollout and rollbacks, canary deployment, which enable you to test new deployment and production in parallel with the previous deployment, uh, and programming languages and framework support, and many others like DNS management, resource monitoring, logging, and storage orchestration. In this slide, I'll be talking about the core notion in Kubernetes presented by the Kubernetes APIs. What are they? Pod, service, and deployment. What is a pod? A pod is a collection of deployment that are collocated on a single machine. What is a service? A service is a load balancer that routes traffic to various pods. What is a deployment? A deployment is used for replicating a container for availability or scale. Deployment is using replica set underneath the hood. There is one more that I did not add to the list. You may encounter it less, even though it's very important. It's called PVC for persistent volume claim. It's a request for storage, similar to how a pod requests for compute resources. To run an application on Kubernetes, it is important to be aware of the application underlying architecture, whether it's stateless or stateful. Running a stateless application on Kubernetes is very simple. Create the pod and the service and the container, done. If a pod dies, no worries. A new pod will be auto-created 
and as the application is stateless, no need to be no need for the new pod to be aware of the state of the pod that died. For a stateful application, additional consideration should be taken into account where and how the state will be persisted. The following consideration and solution will become highly relevant in this architecture. PVC is one of them. This is something I referred to previously, for example. Object storage, data replication, etc. etc. Going over an overview of Kubernetes at eBay, I can mention that eBay was one of the earliest companies adopting Kubernetes and that the Kubernetes transformation at eBay is massive. Sharing some examples and information from end of last year. The number of running production pod is over 150,000. The number of Kubernetes production cluster is over 50. The number of overall cloud application at eBay is over 5,500. How this is achieved? Few principles and strategies we follow. Embracing Kubernetes across the board and moving away from compute OpenStack. This includes migrating to Kubernetes, the eBay performance sensitive application, including search operations. Going through a full open source transformation, leveraging Docker, Envoy, Apache Kafka, Swift storage, etc. And building and managing Kubernetes with Kubernetes. Here comes the last section of the presentation. I've chosen to talk about the eBay video platform as it leverages Kubernetes and many of the private cloud services eBay provides. What is the eBay video platform? The eBay video platforms allow sellers to add in video of cars they are selling on eBay Motors mobile application and allows buyers to view those video part of the listing. How is the eBay video platform integrated with eBay Motors mobile application? It's integrated with video upload and video view. To view an uploaded video from the eBay Motors mobile application, the user clicks on one of the shown car listing. The user is presented with the car listing information, the car pictures and the video. Now to upload the video from the eBay Motors mobile application, the user clicks on sell at the bottom of the screen. The user entered the car information starting by the vehicle VIN, which is the vehicle identification number. The user can then upload images of the vehicle and the video. The video view, upload, transcoding, storage is handled by the eBay video platform. In order to visualize this integration better, let's go over a quick demo. We open the eBay Motors application we click on Cell, enter the vehicle VIN, upload images, and now we are ready to create a video. We click on Record Video on the top of the screen. The video screen is shown. When ready, we click on the red button in the bottom center to start the recording. Here, we are going over a contour of the exterior of the vehicle we would like to sell. When done recording, we click on the Done button at the bottom of the screen. While the video is being uploaded to the eBay video platform for dress coding, we complete the listing of the vehicle. Now the vehicle is listed and we are going over the listing. As we can see, the video we recorded is available and we can play it. We can choose to go full screen too. Now back to the slides. What were the video platform main requirements? Scalability. Building a video platform that can scale across eBay 1.5 billion listing. Performance, high throughput with low latency for both upload and download services. Resiliency, resilient video storage at very low cost. This requires transcoding the original video into smaller but perceptually good quality videos. Durability, durable and reliable storage. Any loss of data or missing chunks for a big video file can spoil the experience. Content delivery, smooth playback across multiple devices and unreliable network. Monitoring, efficient monitoring and visualization for system state and performance. Maintainability and ease of use too. Building on eBay private cloud service stack with existing tools for deployment and configuration make it easier for development and operations team. In this diagram, two part. The first about the user uploading a video and the second about the user downloading or viewing a video. Let's start with the first part. 
From top left, you see the icon End User Uploading Video. The video upload request goes through POP. POP, Point of Presence, something I talked briefly about in my previous slides. It enables faster and more consistent user experience. Then the request go to the real service, which is the eBay video platform. The real service store the video metadata in the entity service and the video content in the blog storage. The real server then broadcasts a message to a message broker service. The consumer of this message broker is the transcoding service, which handles the video transcoding. Now moving to the second part. From your top right, you see the icon End Users Playing Video. The video player issue a download request through CDN, which is the content delivery network, used for caching, speeding up the download. The request go through a layer two caching as well, uh, this one is on the pop. Then the request lands in the real service that fetches the video metadata and transcode the video. Every single component you see in this diagram is running on the eBay private cloud in high availability and disaster recovery. Let's take a few examples. Entity service. It's a cloud service fronting a geo-distributed document store. Lob storage is a highly scalable storage service where data is replicated across multiple data centers. Transcoding service is a highly resilient and optimized service fully running on Kubernetes, part of the eBay private cloud ecosystem. Read service is a cloud service running in active-active mode across multiple data centers. Building a video platform that can scale across eBay's 1.5 billion listing cannot be successful without a fully-fledged monitoring service. The eBay standard observability platform called Unified Monitoring Platform, UMP, is used. It enables logging, monitoring, and graphing capabilities. UMP provides distributed tracing too for tracing a request end-to-end as the video is being segmented at several places and there are multiple components involved. This monitoring service will provide an efficient monitoring and visualization for system state and performance. I provide in this slide a sample dashboard for some of our video upload metrics. This is the last slide. I would like to thank you for your attendance and please feel free to connect. My contact information are listed on this slide. Also, if you have any question, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.